NPH. Leaders in Canadian basketball. I'm proud to say that CYDC is one of the top club programs in Canada. Started off uh, with, a, with, a, with a group of players, well, players, you know, whatever, and then they wanted to play. We didn't have a gym, we didn't have a location, and uh, so we, we had we had one or two gyms all over the city. So I would travel all over the city, you know, we go to this gym, this night, this gym, this night. Uh, we had mixed match uniforms, you know, we didn't have uniforms. Uh, no, nobody knew about us, and, and when we played that year, uh, we played extremely well. You know, that was the foundation. A good group of kids, hardworking kids, they was in the gym, they wanted to go to the gym every single day. And, and from there, we were able to build our brand by just hard work. You know, the games are a part of it, but the skill, that's what I really focus on. And, and, and that's what CYDC is about, is giving these kids a good opportunity to learn how to play. And uh, when I found out about this, this particular camp, I, I was coincidentally I'm training one of the players in this camp, Otas, um, and so uh, I called up coach and said, "Hey, you know, I'm a basketball junkie. I always like to contribute to the sport. Both of us uh, are good buddies." And I asked him, "Did he need me?" And he said, "Of course. You know, uh, I love to have you come down and be the head coach of the camp and and run the drills and things of that nature and help us evaluate talent. And and uh, it looks like a good situation. So you know, I packed it up and and came on down." When you're coaching, you come across other coaches, and he's one coach that I came across. A lot of our philosophies are the same, you know, uh, you know, playing up tempo basketball and, 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 and being athletic. You know, if you're athletic, be, play athletic type of thing, and, and developing and having a strong passion for developing kids. That's also a, a, another one of our pillars, uh, uh, values. Uh, and I would also say, uh, also. Um, Using, using the sport as a vehicle, because like I said, what we both have in common is that, you know, we've, basketball's taken us to a lot of places. So, you know, I wanted to give something back. Plus, I had a young son, you know, that asked me to help him to play, you know, teach him basketball. So, you know, I didn't push it on my son. You know, he asked me, and I was, uh, that was a happy moment for me. And so now I can get back involved in the game that I love. So, you know, I was, it was, it was a, a fact that I could help my kid and also help other players or other athletes in the community. So that was one of my main reasons. And I made a promise to those coaches that helped me in my past that I was going to help some winners. Really appreciate the people that's driving here, driving down here from uh, you know, Vernon, BC, uh, and the people that's coming here from Saskatchewan, yourself, your crew, uh, the people that's coming here from Edmonton. You know, I, I really appreciate that, you know, because you know, they don't have to take that time out. You know, and I, I really respect that because they're trying to give their kid an opportunity. Uh, to meet new friends. Uh, the sponsors that we have, uh, you know, Nike, uh, they've been phenomenal with CYDC, uh, Pizza 73, that's uh, hopefully a new sponsor for us. Uh, you know, just showing that type of support, I think that's important. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's all for these kids. You know, it's just wholeheartedly all for these guys to give them a chance. I'm happy to be a part of that.